This is the UVX 300 sensor from EMX Industries. It is uh, a luminescent sensor that triggers when a when its input signal level exceeds uh, the user set settable threshold level. Uh, currently, the red LED comes on whenever the threshold is exceeded, and the display shows a range of 0 to 50, uh, which is an indication of the relative intensity of the signal. So if I put a target out here and begin to move closer, you can see that the sensor has uh, triggered and that I reached the maximum signal level. And if we check the threshold, the current setting is on 10. We'll increase that, make that uh, 25, half scale. And we'll do that again. As you can see, as the signal level moves to 25, the red LED will come on. And that's basically how the sensor operates. Okay, this is an instructional video for the UVX 300 sensor from EMX Industries. The sensor is a luminescent sensor and it detects the presence of any luminescent uh, materials such as uh, fluorescent crayons and that sort of thing, adhesives. Um, first of all, we're going to go into the setup menu and look at the various settings in the setup menu. In order to do that, you press and hold the P minus key for three seconds. And the first selection is the light source intensity. There are three settings, U1, U2, and U3, and I'm going to scroll through them. And as you watch the intensity of the light source change, low setting, medium, and high. For now, we'll leave it at the high setting. Scroll to the next item by pressing the P minus key again. Hysteresis setting. Hysteresis tells the sensor after it detects a luminescent or reaches its threshold setting, how far does it have to drop below the threshold setting in order to undetect. So right now it's set at, uh, the sensor is set for a hysteresis setting of 4, so if the threshold setting is 20, uh, when the signal level gets to 20 the sensor will trigger and it will, and the output will turn on and the signal level will need to drop to below 16 in order for the sensor to uh, trigger to return back to the inactive state. So that's the hysteresis setting. To change the hysteresis, the settings are 0 through 9. And you always press the, the plus key, the T plus key, in order to scroll through the available settings. So we're going to leave this on the hysteresis setting of 2. Next item is the normally open, normally closed output, which basically switches the logic on the output, whether it's on when the sensor is above the threshold or whether the output is off when the sensor is above the threshold. That can be selected again by toggling through the choices with the T plus key. Next item is pulse stretching. Uh, right, The sensor with pulse stretching set for zero, whenever the sensor triggers, as indicated by the red LED, the output turns on and it remains on only for the duration of time while the target is in front of the sensor. So pulse stretching allows the output to be artificially extended uh, whenever it's activated by 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way through 90 milliseconds. So we're going to set it on pulse stretching to zero for now. No, uh, nulling, the nulling function zeroes the sensor. So typically when I zero the sensor, I want to make sure I have no signal, no luminescent signal. So I'm going to put a black felt uh, target and I'm going to press and hold the null key. And the sensor has zeroed. The next option is the gain setting. There are two gain settings, R1 and R2. R2 is uh, is a times 10 multiplier, uh, so that's the high gain setting. So we're going to leave it set on R1 uh, since we have a fairly hot source here. And that's it. Those are all the settings in the uh, setup menu for the sensor. So we pr again we press and hold the P minus key for three seconds to exit the setup menu. 
and now we're back to reading the target material this piece of wood now I see that there are some uh, orange luminescent marks on the wood and I have made one here we'll go over there and take a look at that okay that produces a reading of about 25 on the sensor so what we're going to do since that's where we want to trigger the sensor is we're going to look off the target we see that the background is in a range of two or three so we're going to pick a point where we want this to switch so in order to change the threshold setting I press either key for a moment and the current threshold setting is displayed again press it again the th current threshold is 21 so what I want to do is I want to press and hold this key and now I want to change this setting by decrementing it uh, let's say to 15 we'll set it at 15 okay so that's my new threshold setting 15 when I go off target you can see the red LED is off so the output the sensors output is inactive currently and when I hit the target I can see that the output activates because I've gone over the the threshold setting of 15 and then again it deactivates as I move past the target so that's uh, in a nutshell that's how you set the sensor up I uh, can move the sensor a little closer and probably increase the signal level so again I've moved the sensor a few centimeters closer and now I have a stronger signal so I can adjust the distance and I can change settings on the sensor in order to tweak it in to make it work perfectly for this application this is a demonstration of the automatic teach function on the UVX 300 sensor uh, to begin the teach, the automated teach, press the T plus key for three seconds and the yellow LED will flash indicating it's in teach mode. Then you s put the sensor's light spot on the target and then, then press the P minus key to set the target level. then move the sensor light spot to the background again press the P minus key to set the background level okay and then when it's complete press the T plus key again for three seconds to exit the teach function and then we should be ready to go and you can see the sensor triggers when it hits the uh, luminescent mark.